Hi everyone, Assalamualaikum. Welcome back to another virtual lecture. In this video, we're going to learn at what happens to the aggregate expenditures model when the economy is private and open. Now, let's recap a bit. In the last few videos, we've seen what happens when the economy was private and closed, in that we were only focusing on the consumers and the private sector. Now, when the economy is private and open, okay, we will now incorporate imports and exports. Okay, So now our GDP equation becomes C plus IG plus XN. What is XN? Okay, if you notice, we're not looking at total imports and exports. Instead, we're focusing on net export, which means total export minus total imports. So why do we add or include exports into our GDP equation, but minus or deduct imports from our GDP? This is because exports create domestic production. Anything that increases production in Malaysia will be included in our GDP. Whereas, when we import, we are buying from other countries, so it has nothing to do with our local production. That is why total exports minus total imports, whatever we get in the net export, will be included in the GDP equation. Now, previously, you've already learned about the consumption schedule and the investment schedule, right? So today, we're going to look at another schedule, which is the net export schedule. This is how it looks like. Now, how? Do we include it inside or into the Keynesian cross? Now, this is basically what the net export schedule looks like. It looks very similar to the investment schedule in that it is straight. Okay, meaning the amount of net export is the same regardless of the level of real GDP. Okay, so whether it increases or reduces, that change will be included in the total aggregate expenditure. Okay, I want you to focus on the initial curve first, C plus IG. Now, C plus IG here is the private and closed economy. The minute we open up the economy, we will have international trade or imports and export. Okay, that is when we have either a plus or a positive net export or a negative net export. Okay, I've labeled this with number to assist you in understanding. Okay, if we have a positive net export, meaning the amount will be increasing, see, one, what happens is how is it reflected in the Keynesian cross? See, from the original aggregate spending, there will be an, a parallel upward shift, okay, by how much? By the same amount of our positive net export. In contrast, if there's a fall in net export or a negative net export, here I label it as two, there will be a parallel shift downwards by the same amount. Okay, let's try and see the effects of net exports on GDP using the diagram. Okay, see here, initially our aggregate spending is C plus IG, that is the economy when it is private and closed. Say we have a positive net export, what happens is this entire curve will shift upwards. Okay, so initially our equilibrium GDP was 470. But we have, but when we have a positive net export, so this line will shift upwards, we will have a new intersection point. So we will have a new equilibrium at 490. So this is what it means by when we have a positive XN, GDP will increase. See, when we have a positive XN, GDP will increase. Likewise, when we have a negative XN, GDP will fall because... When we have a negative Xn, the whole aggregate expenditure curve will fall downwards, see? Okay, so we will have a new intersection point, so we will have a new equilibrium GDP, which is lower than that of the private closed economy. Now, these are all of the other external factors that may influence our GDP, okay, when it comes to imports and export. I have listed out three here. You can get this from the textbook. The first one is prosperity abroad. What this means is, it will permit us to export more because our neighbors are richer so they'll be able to buy more of our products and hence we'll be in we'll be able to increase our exports okay so if there's more export so normally we will have a positive xn 
okay now tariffs tariffs is basically imports tax on imports okay so we will learn more about this in the uh, last chapter which is on international trade uh, anyway when we when there are taxes or tariffs imposed on Malaysian goods what happen is our trading partners will not be importing a lot of Malaysian goods therefore it will reduce our exports so the effect will be we will have a negative XN okay and another third uh, factor here depreciation of the ringgit what that means is the value of our currency is much lower than other currencies so what that means is our goods are cheaper to foreigners but of course it's it's uh, quite expensive for us to be importing okay so what that means is there'll be more exports compared to imports so more export than imports what that means is we will have a positive xn okay so you can play around with these factors and um, whatever happens here uh, this these are the values that will be added into the GDP calculation.